So these people are still upset over and yes, I get Nintendo Switch Online is very flawed. Okay. There's a lot of flaws in Nintendo Switch Online and I think we're gonna go over this either. I'm talking about uh, I'm annoyed that Bats because he doesn't have full fledged Nintendo Switch port. I'm not I'm talking about an actual port. You can individually buy and attribute the Tales of Online subscription thingy mob, or as it's to call it. You know, you own the Tales of Online games, but you own Godzilla Mass 1 and Netflix! It's incredibly weird, there's no real ports yet, I've converged for sure. The games are going to be ported to the Switch at the big Bass Bros announcement back in 2019. You would think they'll capitalize on this hype of ours heart now? Well, apparently not, and it pisses me the F off! And yeah, these people, like, He's, I don't really think many people really care all too much about Kazooie outside of 90s kids who think Banjo Kazooie is like this iconic and important character in gaming. That's the only reason I think on Smash Bros. because 90s kids basically were like begging Sakurai to put Banjo Kazooie in Smash Bros. because it was a part of the childhood. What about our childhood characters? Okay, what about the 2000s characters? No, no, no. We have to have we have to have Mega Man Smash Bros. We have to have Banjo Kazooie in Smash Bros. Uh, Castlevania. Okay, Castlevania actually has cool. But, you know, Castlevania actually, putting Castlevania is based because it's an emulated game, basically. It's a, you know, more serious game. It's a very Metal Gear, okay? I think we should have more serious games, like I said. We have to have Rayman because of the soldier, you know. You know what? I actually want to see Rabbit Mario in Smash Bros. I know people are like, really? Rabbit Mario? But it, it would be cool. I'm talking about Rabbit Mario from the Mario and Rabbids games. Because those games are crossovers between Mario and the Rabbids. Yeah, those games are strange, but they are pretty funny as well. Yeah, and basically, you could buy a quarter pack for the Tales of World War Poison 5! And Magic the Game was good enough to be given a 480 port. There's no excuse for Microsoft and things in the I can always play out of them on my feet, sexy. Then, why don't you just buy an Xbox Series X to play them? Um, Xbox Series X is much more powerful than the Switch. Okay, it's funny, these people care so much about graphics, you know, worrying about graphics, but why don't you just buy the newest Xbox console to play Banjo Kazooie? Because it, it had the best, it has way better graphics than, it's the best, okay, since you can't play, I don't think you can play Banjo Kazooie on PC, uh, as of now. Uh, Xbox Series X is the best way to play Banjo Kazooie, basically, and any of the Rare Rare games. Because you could buy, you could play all of them. On the Xbox Series X and S through the Rare Collection. Okay, you can play Viva Pinata, uh, Banjo Kazooie, Conquer, uh, Perfect Dark, all of those games. On, and I get, why would you buy a console for old games? You know, blah blah. blah. But heck, if you, it can still play Fortnite and Call of Duty, so you know, you have those games covered. It can still play Overwatch and any of the free to play swap nowadays, but. Yeah, I don't think we'll ever happen at this point. I wrote the process and be dead in a few months, but we can only hope. But yeah, ban they're gonna keep they're gonna, old games. And once it's like a, I think the only way Banjo Kazooie will come to the Switch is if Microsoft basically allows Nintendo to put out full out remake of Banjo Kazooie on the Switch. This is possible at this point because Microsoft is on the death's door now. But yeah, that's about this video here. Goodbye.